Hey everybody, happy Sunday! This is Pratiba from Chai Together coming to you live from my beautiful, beautiful Mystic Blue car. Anyways, I wanted to hop in here and I want to ask you guys, what do you guys do when you're feeling sad? I really, I really want to know because it's not all the time where I come across an experience that's lingering sadness, right? But grief and lingering sadness has been something that's been very prominent to me this year especially and that's because of my awareness so I want you to talk to me in the comments about your own awareness and what kind of self-development work are you doing on yourself so today I listened to Sarah Landon recommended by my friend Guntjani about channeling energies that was wonderful it was about almost two hours long and this morning I watched a webinar regarding uh, to do with abandonment wounds and dating. And it's really interesting because when we don't have a functional upbringing, we can be easily manipulated. We could be easily trapped, right? And things may seem good at first, but it's really for you to do the grounding work and have your own set boundaries to know that you're not slipping away and losing yourself in relationships. And in my past, that's something I found myself to be doing. So it's really something I'm working on to where I remember and know to always put myself first. And anybody who can't respect that and serve you well in life, right, regarding what you need, and for you to have your own purpose apart from, let's say, a partner's purpose, right? That is so, so necessary. And it's necessary because you're your own individual self. To lose yourself in somebody else is just madness. And then people wonder why someone um, did them wrong or why they stayed so long or why it didn't work out but all the red flags were already there in the beginning so you really have to vet and see is this person a fit for me do we want the same lifestyle what are the things we like what are the things we don't like are we compatible there's a difference and i i never was taught this and they really need to teach this but i was never taught there's a difference regarding chemistry and connection and uh hookup culture and all these things that there's levels to this ish right <laughs> there's levels to this shit and um really deciphering and to discern who is for you in a long term and who's not and that takes time you have to slow down and I was never able to slow down or even if I wanted to go so I never had a man who was there to lead me at the pace that was necessary to develop a healthy relationship. A lot of people don't even know themselves. So if a man can't be in his masculine energy and lead a woman, how is a woman supposed to be in her divine feminine, right? And all this is such great stuff. And I feel like more people need to know it. More people need to do it and apply it in their life and keep studying, keep applying, keep researching, keep asking why. I love to ask why. If you guys know me, I love to ask questions and have a voice. You need to be curious. You need to know where you're going in life. You need to know the practical next steps, the tiny habits, the things you can do now, the things you could do later. But one thing I want to leave you with, this is the last thing I'm going to say. This, this is <laughs> almost four minutes, but the last thing I want to say is I was talking to a friend of mine who's older and she is so wonderful. And if you watch this, you know who you are because <laughs> what I'm about to say. And she said to me, Pratiba, she said, there is no fear in the now that I'm worried about the future. But if you're in the present, there is no fear. Ooh, that spoke to me so well. And I really enjoyed that. And you know who you are. And she's a genius brain spotter. Anyway, um, I'm just so happy to still be happy, smiling, sharing my energy, right? Exuding this love for all of you for myself. And taking this time to recharge and recoup and revive and renew all that good ish. But also I wanted to know what's up with you guys and do let me know what you're working on and all about your self development because I love new resources and learning. So I love you guys. Have a beautiful rest of your Sunday. Ta ta. Love you. Bye.